now um, this is what I did get done so far I did attach the fronts uh, leaving this because uh, I'll sort all that out after I just mitered it there and the same underneath and then tucked it all under because it is going to have like a bead in here and there so I'm not even worried about that section missing uh, so then what I did is I put a strip in the base there and I did cut I did I did I don't know what I did with it though is it where is it here then I cut this did I cut that the wrong way let me just find out what I was doing because I can't remember what I was doing Right, just put that to one side to dry. That's to go in. The, what I'm going to do now is to cover this bed, I think. I think I'll leave this... I was going to leave it a natural wood. But I don't think I will. I think I'm going to paint it. Yeah, we'll paint it white to start with. Oh, I've got my glue brush, you nana. Oh, a couple of things I want to say before I can, uh, continue. Now, I've had um, a couple of women this week ask me, um, one saying, oh, I am paying for the, that video um, to watch a video. She went, videos are free on YouTube. Not all videos are free on YouTube. And I have over 5,000, as I keep saying, free videos for you to watch. Teaching videos that I've done, taking the time out, they take hours to do, they take hours to complete a project, they take hours to edit, they take hours for the photographs and to load it all up and to wait and to do all what you've got to do. And in order for me to bring you all these, five, you know, 5,000 free plus videos, I charge for six videos, and I think the most is $5 something. That's all I charge. For six out of 5,000 videos. Them six videos buys my equipment for me to keep crafting and teaching you free. So you can watch everything for free. And I'm not a one-trip pony. I don't just do all flower making. I do lots of different projects, steampunk, vintage, chabby chic, uh, grunge, you name it, I've done it. So you're getting an awful lot free. So please, think about what goes into making a video. Um, the time, the effort and the equipment that somebody has to use. A lot of people don't teach, I teach you step by step, but a lot of people don't. They go, oh look, I've made that. And that's it. So I'm not... If you don't want to watch it, don't watch it. If you don't want to pay to watch them six videos at $5 a pick, don't pay. Go on to watch some of the free stuff or go on to somebody else's channel. 
Um, again, somebody's asked about speeding up videos. Right, um, the videos I've been doing lately on these miniatures, I've been working from sometimes 6 o'clock in the morning, sometimes earlier, till 10 o'clock at night, filming all day long. Because you have to keep uh, stopping and starting, stopping and starting. Then you've got to edit it down into less than an hour, or an hour, less than two hours. So, you know, there's a lot of work involved. And so, to, in order for me to do that, I have to cut sections out and I have to speed things up. What you watch, it looks like you're watching it from, you know, beginning to end. If you were, you'd be sat there all day long watching one video, if I didn't edit it. So, I do have to speed it up and cut things out. Um, when you're searching for a project, like if you're searching for flowers and you're searching and you put shabby chic in, all the flowers that's got this name shabby chic in the title will come up, but you're going to miss hundreds of other vi um, videos that say flowers or name a particular flower. It could be the tulip, you know, a handmade tulip. So you're going to miss all those with the name tulip in if you understand what i'm saying so you have to do if you can't find a particular video use different words that mean you know what you're looking for flower tulip uh shabby chic just vintage because they're all named differently you're not allowed to name them all the same they just they don't let you um if you've got a problem getting onto the shop I will do a video because I've been asked to do a video on how to work the shop. But if you have a problem getting on it, my shop link is working. If you can't get on it, your settings might need readjusting. And that's sometimes all it is. But if you can't, let me know. Put a comment somewhere and it'll come up. And I, I do try and answer all my comments. Um, and I've mentioned the thumbs down before. Whatever. Get a life. <laughs> sorry that's it that's all i wanted to say so like i say let's get on and do this i'm just giving this a whitewash of i'm not taking that off because it's sponge and i want it on but you're not going to see it anyway yeah i um i think some people don't think about what it takes to make a video and you go see another crafter if they put as many videos out as i do and I teach. I just think some people are really unfair in um, the way they are and that attitude is terrible. You think I'm paying for it? Well, don't pay for it. You don't have to. You don't have to be nasty about it. Don't pay. Move on. I'm sorry. I'm, I've got past myself now where it's... It used, it's never bothered me what people have said, but I just think you can't be asked to sit there and work out why I'm charging and whatever, move on. But who, who's going to buy all this equipment if I don't? You, you know, some people get others to sponsor them. I have a page now, um, I think I've put it up, where you can actually sponsor me. When I say sponsor, you can make a donation. Because it's getting more and more expensive to craft. And what you lot, some know, some don't know, I buy from my own shop so that I'm legal and everything's up uh, up and above, you know, if, above board, should I say. So, <laughs> I'm just that sort of person. I don't want anybody saying I do anything that I shouldn't be doing. Never. Won't have it. Okay, now I'm not sure when it's on whether you'll be able to see the underneath, so I'm just going to do this section as well. And a bit of that, just in case you can see it when it's on. I'm not sure if you will. You won't be able to see it all. So we'll just put that to one side to dry. And I'm going to do these white as well. So first of all, we've got to get in here and try and sort this out. I might cut some of that mess out. Oh, in fact, I'm shutting one of the doors, though, aren't I? But we just want to get it sorted just in case.
put that there, stick that over there. Uh, what else is there to do? I'm going to put that over there to dry. I did say I was going to do this, didn't I? Um, not that. I need to cover this. But I want to leave that on there. Okay. I'm going to choose this one because it is going to be distressed and it's a nice lace to work with. This is in the shop, that one. That's why I'm not bothered about the colours because we're going to distress them. And to that, now we need to use a rod. I think this might do. Yeah, it has to be pretty firm. Uh, let me just see. Caravan. You've got to have it a certain size. So if we want to have that there. About that, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> wrong way. Thing. Right, let's have a look. Now I've also got to make a seating area for this end. So while that is the table there, see, it's going to be there. I have to make a, it's a little bit too big. I'm going to cut that, I think, and make a seating area. I'm going to shape the corners like that as well. I have to do it like that as well. See, and it's going to have to sit like that. So I now need a piece of seating. 
So I did that uh, 12 centimetres across. So let's see if we can just do that out of here. This is that hard plastic one. It's paper on one side and plastic on the other, but it is quite sturdy. So that's a good thing. Keep all your bits, you never know when you're going to need them. So that now needs I'm going to use some of these. Remember the cut off I did? Let's just measure this. I'm going to do them there. Okay, do a square. ish and then just across there I need another one If I leave it with a hole in it, yeah, it, we can put it at the size we need it. Where's the unit? Let me just test the unit because I... And the table. So that needs to be higher. Right, yeah, that's about the right size. That. So I need two of those. Okay, two of those. So they have to be glued in. like that and we can glue them onto the floor to the right uh, thingy so I think <coughs> that's going to be perfect so right now I'm just going to pin these in
and hopefully we've got this right just bear with me because I do have to do see I've put it in like that and then that table when it's done again will sit in there like that brill I'm absolutely chuffed with this. You dipsy. <laughs> you freaky stupid woman. You didn't tell me, did you? I haven't put the bloody paper on the back. Ugh. Oh. I've just pulled all that off as well. What a bloody tit. Oh, God. I haven't put the paper on the back fee. Right, let's get the paper on the back done then. <laughs> oh, well, I might have to just paint that again. Never mind. We, you know, it's just I've never done one before, so. glue but if not it's fine Um, I've made this little unit. Sorry, I couldn't film it because I had a workman in and they're just... Uh, they're a pain in the backside. It's not a full unit, as you can see. It's three pieces of wood and a top. Made out of balsa wood and then some... I used these um, lollipop sticks. Uh, which are great for handles. You know, for drawers and that. Just cut them at whatever size you want. And they're great for doors. And then I did have some miniature handles that's gone on and they're just drying. So that's a little wardrobe. The sink, I'm just waiting to dry and then I can colour it. But I've I've done the seating here. This is only covered with the paper to match this, which is fine. I'm happy with that. I've had to put a little plinth on for that because what I didn't realise when I put this in, I forgot the height of the cooker. So the cooker will actually sit on that plinth like that. And then this, if I can just squeeze that in, just sits in like that. Um, now I'll also be doing a window here. Uh, I might actually cut that out and put a window in, to be honest. Uh, and I've got the bed to do. So I've got the, draw, uh, the cupboard doors to do. I've got all to fill in. I've got a tablecloth. I want a clock in there. I want some pictures in there. So my sister might just get her, <laughs> get me to do the um, whole thing as a, a nice one instead of a crap one. <laughs> but we'll see. Anyway, like I said, they have to finish off drying. Whoops. And... I'm, I'm thrilled with it. I'm absolutely thrilled. I've just given that another coat of paint. I want to do the silver in the sink, the draining board uh, silver as well, and the pipes, so the taps silver. I forgot to put, um, like, you know, one of those star things on there, a uh, uh, spacer, which would, would have looked like you twist them. But never mind, these look like you twist them anyway. So I am happy with that, and I've got the bed to finish. Oh, I've got a little plinth I've just done in front of that, just in case, because it's not quite flat, flat. But I do like it. 
and then we'll put all the beading on the outside and um, I'm going to do like studs. I don't know, it might end up grungy. I, I'm just going favouring grunge at the moment. But I just wanted to share with you how far I'd gotten. And unfortunately, like I say, it was just cut. I cut one strip of... Um... Oh, look at what I've just done. I've cut one strip of balsa wood. Uh, then two sides. I did that, yeah, and then two sides. And did it like that so it slotted in nicely. And, um, and then used a lollipop stitch, which I split in half. And these were all cut lengthways. So that's split in half, two together, I've split two so that I could use that gap and then these were just sliced like that and rounded off to make these, you know, look like drawers. So yeah, I'm quite happy with that. that I am. I'm, I'm pleased as it's going, how it's going should I say. So yeah, I'm fine with it. And uh, I'm going to come back later. I'm just going to take some pictures of these and I'm going to come back later.